Welcome back to the Shots of Brown world. Thank you all for tuning in last time, man. We appreciate it. This is part two. Back with my cousin Landon Brown. I just want to make this announcement right quick before we get started. We had hit another goal with the 200 followers. And I told y'all as soon as we get the 200 follow, 200 subscribers, I'm sorry, that I was sending out $200. So on this video, to enter the win on this video, drop a comment with your cash app. I'm sending four people $50 this time. Last time I sent four people 25. This time we up in the ante, I'm gonna send four people 50. So on this video, drop a comment with your cash app. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. What you got for me, Landon, man? You told me you was putting me in the hot seat last time we was on here. I'm, I'm ready for my own. I'm going to drop my own uh, cash app on the video. Yeah, drop it. <laughs> drop it. Drop it. You going to give me another bottle? Yeah, drop it. Let's start this I'm off. Gonna, with I'm going to let you start because I want to see where the conversation is going. My questions, my questions are a little deep. So I, I, I warned them. I want to start. I, I, last time I... Last time you allowed me the floor to, to ask you any question under the sun. This time I want to give you the floor to ask me any question under the sun. I'm answering anything you ask me, so don't hesitate with the questions. Anything well, you ask me I'm, well, is getting This is why I said what I said. I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Because you're offering me this, I'm going to take it. But right. the reason I said what I just said is because the last time I feel like you were you, I, I didn't tell you to ask me anything. So I feel like right. you were uncertain what you could ask me. Okay. And I'm saying because you're my cousin and you love me, I feel like even my even my wife was like, she was like, I, I don't think that he was really asking the questions he wanted to ask you. And I was like, I don't think he was either. That's why I said I'd let you, I'd let you start this thing off, see where the conversation goes. Because my my questions have nothing to do with our family. Okay, yeah. So let, let's start it off. Let's start it off. Let, I'm gonna let, I'm giving you the floor. So Let's start it off with a shot. It's shots of yeah. brown. You see, I got my shot of brown. I got my shot of brown too, right here. And it's a brown, it's a brown. Salute. Salute. All right, all right, bet. What was the name of your first girlfriend? It's only going to get worse from here, so pace yourself. <laughs> the name of my first girlfriend. First serious relationship, you really had feelings. First serious relationship where I really had feelings. Yep. I don't. I don't. I've only met. I've only met one woman ever. I've only met one woman ever that you were in a relationship with ever. Right. I would have to say first woman ever that I had. I would have to say Felicia. Okay. Did I? I never got to meet her. Mm -mm. Did I mean that? No. What what ended it? Uh we would she was a different race. She ended up getting pregnant. Her Got family it. didn't approve. And uh she ended up moving back to her hometown, and that was the last I've heard of it. Wow, that's that's a movie. Yeah. That's deep, man. I mean I, I it's it's so funny. I'm such a terrible individual because you have this picture of you and your lovely wife behind you. I'm asking you about women from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself, love. <laughs> I hope your wife. You got to give me some rules because if your wife is, if she's like, no, nah, I don't. We're, I'm not down for these kind of questions on camera. Then I, I gotta I gotta slow down on some of my questions. So, you have, are there any rules that she has? I know you don't have none. But she's not in here right now for me to ask. She's gonna see it later. Yeah, but um, I'll let you know if it gets a little too steamy. Bet. <laughs> Do you eat the booty like groceries or not? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, on this show we keep it all the way real. We keep it all the way one hundred. That's what this show is about. So I'm gonna keep it honest with you. Yes, okay. with my with, with with my lady. Yes, I do, sir. Wow, you are you are a different breed, man. I cannot bring myself to be like groceries, man. I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I hit the level yet, man. I, I love my wife. I've been with my wife for a long time. I love my wife, but I don't know if I eat the booty like groceries, man. I don't even go grocery hey, shopping. Thing, my, my, 
my, my she isn't really a big fan of it. So, all right, my, my, I don't think my wife is either. Right, she's not really a big fan. So she never brings it up. It never comes up. Yeah, she's not really a big fan. So, but my wife will definitely be. But I've, I've I've done it before with with her. Yes. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm, I'm questioning you. Go on, you go. I keep going, keep going. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm keep going. I like this. I'm enjoying it. I like this. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> bet, bet. All right. So let's see. Mm. When I get a question, I'm gonna pop in. I'll, t- I'll take a, di- I'll take a different turn. So how about this? When it comes to how music is right now, do you feel like artists have no passion? Is it not like, like what's the difference between old school music? back in the day when they were talking about love and music now where they might still be talking about love, but they will call it, they'll call a, a woman a bitch in the middle of talking about how much they love them. Like, damn, I love you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, different times right now, for sure. It's, it's, shit is definitely different. Yeah. Music back then had more meaning to it than it does now. I mean, I don't really rock with a lot of artists right now because I'm gonna be 100% honest. I still find myself when I get in the car playing, going on some old shit. I don't really rock with a lot of new artists from right uh, from these current times right now. All right, fair enough. Oh, fair enough. I can't, I'm not, of the, I'm not of the same mind though. I feel like we are all products of our environment. And I feel like in that day and age, that's what the thing was. Let me talk to this woman about holding her hand. Let me right. talk to her about how I would, I'd, I'd love to bring her flowers and gifts and unwind and dine her. You know, and, and in this day and age, you know, we're, everybody's in a situation where, you know, wine and dining is not exactly like the most common thing anymore. What's more common is meeting up with somebody and, you know, making it happen and being like, peace. I got homegirls that, that, that dead motherfuckers after the first night too. Like it's, is this more of a thing where everybody's kind of just doing them, doing them? So I feel like it's music today is a product of your environment, you know? Right. I don't call them bitches in my songs. I don't, I don't call them bitches in my, I got daughters. Right. I got daughters, so I can't even. I'm right. Like, so let I, me ask you, what, you, you recently just got married. Mm-hmm. How's the, uh, how's the married life treating you so far? You know, man, it's interesting. It's interesting because before I got married, before I got married, my wife was always like, oh, this and all that. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm married and I'm locked in, now she's like, what? What do you want? <laughs> I'm like, yo, who are you talking to right now, man? She'd be like, I'm talking <laughs> to you, fool. Go hey, Why are you, you look like the older person? What's wrong? <laughs> No, I'm just no, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. No, no. The married life is definitely different. For anybody else that's watching this, that has experienced this, you know, what I'm saying, comment on this. But I feel like after we got married, we talked to each other way different. Not a not in a negative way, but like our arguments are more like chill. Like we're not arguing where like you know it's shaky. Now when we argue, it's not even really an argument. Now it's like yo, like will you? And she's like. My bad. You know, right. And vice, vice versa, I'd be like, yeah, my bad. Okay. Right. I mean, like, it's, I don't know. We're just, nothing feels, I'm not stressed about nothing. Right. Our relationship doesn't have any cracks. You know what I mean? Right. That's a beautiful thing, man. I'm proud of you too, cuz, man. Hey, yeah, I'm proud of you too. You just She's recently so got married. Yeah, yeah. How's it been treating you? Um. Well, you know, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, not yet, not yet. And I'll explain that in a minute to you. Oh. And okay. I was supposed to. June, yeah, but um, not yet. Got it. I'll talk to you, but um, but coming soon though. All right, fair. Coming I was soon. trying to do. I'm trying to do a destination wedding, and um, because you're a traveler. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, and we got to get together and do some traveling. I'm actually, um, got a vacation planned in two weeks for like three days, so. Just going to the beach for a couple of days, but um, yeah, but I'll explain that to you. But um, yeah, man, I will say this. Um, you know, when you got a good woman in your corner in your life, man, things get to changing for you for the better, man. Um, 
I was once a wild boy in in in, in my in my day. <laughs> and uh, we all were, we all were, man. We all were. I'm I'm lucky that somebody even loves me as much as they do, man. Because I was a I was a scumbag. You know right. what I mean? I'm 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 lucky that somebody loves me as much as they do. So yeah, I'm 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 happy that I'm happy with where I am. I said to you, I said something to you yesterday. I don't know if I said it on camera or not, but I woke up thinking, oh, I said that out loud. And that's what I said was that I'm currently living the dream. You did. You said that on camera. Yeah. I didn't even realize that I felt that way, man. Like after doing this show, so many people hit me up like, oh man, you suck. Oh man, this and that. And they're saying all these, all these negative things. And I don't think they really understand. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm living the dream. Right. I'm living the dream. I got my beautiful kids. I got my wife. I got my dog. I have a house. You know what I'm saying? My, me and my father-in-law built the fence around my house. So I got a house with a fence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause it's I, so funny that um not to cut you off, but even since I started the podcast and I, uh, put my videos i've been getting i've I definitely been been receiving more love than hate you know mm -hmm. i've been getting 90 percent love 10 percent hate but the little the hate you get is like oh you must be angry at your uncle or your family or this or that or why are you doing this podcast and this and this like hey yo you're not gonna shut me up man you know what i'm saying um i don't understand why they think that they will like it's like People just, I don't know, they I, they really have shit fucked up when it comes to our family. I, like, I think the perception of our family to the world, they really got us fucked up mm. on some levels. And um, I think that they just, I think that everybody in the world, all human beings, including us, try to find somewhere to have power. We don't, we are, we don't present our power in the way of, fucking up somebody else's day by telling them something negative that's not what we do right, we don't do right. that you know i mean i really couldn't even i couldn't even really tell you how i find my power i think i just feel powerful in the, in the way that i'm a father and my husband and a man but some people have to get out of their fucking day and they have to get out of their shit by having some kind of control over you by saying hey since i have your attention you suck you know what i mean right. or or you're a problem some kind of way. And the only way you're going to win is by listening to me and, and what I say. But people don't understand this about me, shit. I don't give a fuck. If, I, if, if everybody in the world said that I suck, if everybody in the world said that I sucked at something, if I'm passionate about it, I'm still going to fucking do it. Right. Especially if it's in front of me. Right. You know, shit, shit, if, you, if I come over to your house and you have a stage there with a mic on it and some people just happen to show up, I promise you I'm going to get up there without yeah, you're gonna get up. Right. No one's going to have to ask me. I'm going to get up there. Same with me, cuz. Hey, cuz, did you see my, um, was you there to see my, um, performance at LaPrincia's wedding? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, I had to get my kids back to the hotel, but my wife, my wife saw you as we were leaving. She was like, did you see your cousin? And I was like, no, what happened? She was like, he did a whole performance. Uh, he sang My Pony by Genuine, but he sang it about food <laughs> Girl, i was so mad i didn't see that shit i'm hungry you gotta <laughs> see this dumb shit. I, oh, I gotta see you gotta do it again we gotta yeah, that, shit, it. Yeah, that shit was definitely a good time that shit was funny you know, actually, yeah actually i got some of it i got it somebody filmed it yeah I th my sister filmed it and sent it to me i got it filmed yeah oh my you got a little piece i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to send you the um I gotta, see, <laughs> I gotta see that shit dude. i'm gonna have to send you the clip on it <laughs> That shit was funny. Oh my goodness. Because how was it? Um how was it uh your first performance with the showcase? Uh that's you know what? When they asked me to do the showcase, I told them no. I told them no several times. And it was just pressure after pressure after pressure. And I was like, all right, you know, fine, you know, I'll do it. My wife was like, you know, you hey man, you love performing. And I was like, I do, I do, but I just don't feel, I don't feel prepared. I don't want to go up and, and not be prepared. 
because after you do the show, it's not about if, if you weren't prepared, that's your fault. You right. know what I'm saying? So I got up there and and sang sang these songs and I try I tried to motivate myself to it's like, you know what, you're getting up here, man. Even if you don't fucking feel like this shit right now, fucking go up there and, and handle this shit and handle it. And uh, I got up there and I just I just sang, man. I didn't even care if anybody was there. It was like, okay, I'm here. I'm going to get on the stage. I'm going to sing these fucking songs. And then I'm going to get off stage. And I'm going to go see my family. And then I'll record more songs and I'll do this again somewhere. Right. It's, 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 it's the gym. It's the gym. You're not going to... Like everybody in the world thinks my, my, my dad got on stage one day and he just... He just became world famous the the same day. Like, nah, man. He was he was uh putting together um dances and putting together events for his school and he was performing with the with the group and he was putting in the work, man. But the work has to start somewhere. So I hope that people that have shit say to me constantly, I hope that they try to remember that I, you know, thank you for your advice and shit like that, but I don't fucking know you have any but the have you been have have you been receiving i ain't i ain't, um i gotta go back and catch up on the damn season i ain't even i haven't watched any of it yeah i haven't seen none of it i seen I the episode it. that my mother was on i was i was in it i was on camera i didn't i didn't want to watch it because i felt like no matter what i said to anyone no matter what i said to anyone they were going to edit it in a way that that made sense to them so even if I don't agree, it's already out there and it's already being seen. So I have to just accept that it's there. I was there. I did it. I signed my name on the dotted line. I, you know, so it is what it is. So mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't watch it. Would you be interested in doing your own reality show with your wife and kids one day, if that was presented to you? Mm. It, it, it had to be some, it had to make a lot of sense. I have to make a lot of sense. <laughs> um, right. Because as much as I allowed my children to be, to be a part of this, it, it wasn't that I wanted them to be a part of it. It was that I allowed them to be a part of it. I didn't want to leave them out. So I was like, if you guys want to do this, that's okay if you want to. But I prefer you stay home. I mean, I like my life. I like my private life to be private. But again, if it made sense, then what's more important to me is securing a future for my children than how anyone feels about, you know, what we do at the moment. Right. Did you like the, did, did, do you agree with the way you was uh, portrayed on the show? I didn't watch it. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I right. didn't watch it. But, but here's the thing. I was being honest. At all times, I was being honest. So I can't really, you know, however they portrayed me, they, they only had the chance to portray me uh, in a way that I actually, right. yeah, right. is the way that I was actually being. Right. I, I probably said, I probably said a lot of shit they didn't post because I, I was cussing at people and I was calling people bitches and like I was like, man, hey, this this motherfucker showed up, fuck this. Like I was, like I, I was going in, man. They were laughing so hard because right. I was just being myself. That's it. Right. right. That's one thing I can't say say about you because you you uh you one person from the family though who who I'm always keeps me, it man. real, man. You just you just you. I'm always me. I can't be no other way. I'm right. not gonna be. I'm not gonna be that old man in bed wishing that I did some shit. I'm not gonna be that old man. That's not gonna be me. I'm right. not gonna wish that I. I mean, I should have took this opportunity. Ah. I took the opportunity. Right. I, I got to keep on throwing shit against the wall and see what sticks. Just got to do it, man. You've always been the same person, too. You've never been a different person than me. That's a fact. Facts. What else you got, man? Come on, give me a good one. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, man. Um, best place best place you ever traveled all right man um <laughs> uh, best place i ever traveled was uh melbourne australia 
Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia, man. I'm usually the kind of person that's way too nice. Way too nice. People are always on my head. Oh, man, you're too nice. And uh, I went to Australia, man, and I found my people. <laughs> Everybody there was so nice. It was great. I felt like my 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 spirit felt at home. Okay. All right. Uh, what you got? Give me some. Come on, man. You can ask me anything. <laughs> I'm thinking, man. I'm thinking. <laughs> you put me on. You put me on the spot with the question. With the questions, I thought you. I thought you had some shit for me to go around. I. You know, I. I. I had to think about it for a second. I was like, because all my questions were sexual. All of them. All my questions were sexual. I was trying to get you. I was trying to see you blush. Right. All my questions were sexual. I was like, I'm about to make this man feel so uncomfortable. Right. <laughs> now go ahead, man. What was you gonna say? Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, shit. Since you since you had uh some some sexual questions for me, let me see. How old was you when you when you lost your virginity, cuz? I was eleven. I was eleven. eleven so, and um, the situation was was very was really awkward because it was it was something that a family member set up for me. Damn, you was, my, you was you was younger than me. One of my relatives was. He was like, man, Landon is kind of like, you know, I, I heard him saying this in conversation with somebody. He's real like, like uh, overly positive and he's real sensitive and he's real, you see where I'm going, what they thought I was, right? Right. They were like, oh, you know, I don't know, man. I, I think we need to make sure. Right. So they sent, they sent somebody to get me from school, right? And the ladies that picked me up from school, they took, they took everything. They took they damn good care of you, man. They took everything, bro. I was never the same. So these was grown. These was grown women, obviously. These was grown women, bro. They took everything, bro. Everything. And you was eleven. How was it? How was this experience, man? Man, it was. Uh, it was interesting because I'm not even sure that my my, my body was completely like, like completely developed, man. Like I'm not even sure that because when 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 the situation ended, right when I was. When it was over, man, it was like a puff of smoke came out. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like I didn't, I didn't, have, I wasn't producing nothing to, you know what I'm saying? So it was, right. uh, it was very interesting. Right. You know, we all, we all thought it was very interesting. I was like, oh, this is what, 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 what was supposed to happen. So I wonder if that, I wonder if that was their first. Huh? I wonder if that was their first time. What would a, would a child? Right, <laughs> I probably was, but the whole time they just kept talking about how, oh my god, you're so cute, oh my gosh, oh girl, you know what I mean? They were like really like, I was, oh, so it was more than one. It was two ladies. I so your first, myself. your first time having sex was a threesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, I was overwhelmed. I mean, do you? I mean, I, I guess that's a yeah, that's a threesome. Wow, that was great. It almost felt like they were just teaching me, like this is what you do, this is how you do it, you know what I mean? And and it was, they were just taking turns teaching me stuff. So how did you register that though, as an eleven year old? Kind of? Uh well, once they told me who sent them, then I was like, okay, I have to do this. I have to do this because I I love this person and I look up to this person, so I got to do this. I have to. And, um, you know, the, the way they explained it was that they were just going to teach me what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do, which ended up, which ended up fucking me up because after that, then I was just like, you know what I mean? I was overwhelmed after, after it was like, well, where is it? Where is it today? Right. How do I get this today? Right. You know what I mean? Like, then it was like every time, um, to my wife calling. Then it was like every time I saw girls, I was like, how do I make this happen? What do I got to say? Right. You know, so I ended up being really fucking awkward for a long time. I was really awkward because I didn't know what to say. And that's to... crazy. And you was 11 years old. Experience. Yeah. yeah. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Um, I finally kind of figured out the formula by eighth grade. And this girl, 
I told her I was breaking up with her. I was like, man, I got to break up with you. And she told everybody in the school she was pregnant. She told everybody in my school. She told my favorite teacher, rest in peace, Mr. A. She told him that I got her pregnant. He was like, you stay away from her. And I was so mad because that was like, Mr. A was like a dad. And he was, he was so mad at me until she confessed to me and him. She was like, I lied. He was breaking she up with me. To, I didn't she, want to she, break tried, up. she tried to say you got her pregnant? Yep, she she did. She did say she didn't try anything. She told everybody, everybody, everybody knew. Uh, but then she she confessed and she said that she said that because she didn't want us to break up. I, I didn't want us to break up. I'm sorry. I thought that if I said this, I would keep you. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. And my 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 favorite teacher became a pastor and I went to his church and I was like, hey, I wanted to talk to you to see what happened. And he was like, man, I'm sorry. So after that encounter, your first you losing your virginity and it being a threesome, did you expect threesomes with every woman after that? Did you normalize that or did you? Well, you saw the moment when you said threesomes, and I did, I just registered that that's what that was. Right. Oh, okay. Right. You see, what I'm saying. So then it that's not what it felt like. It felt like I was with this person, and then I was with this person, and then I was with this person. You know what I mean? Like they were taking turns teaching me shit. Right. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it didn't it didn't feel that way and it didn't register me until just now that that that's what that was. Right. I mean, that's not how I felt though. So no, I wasn't looking for that interesting question. I wasn't looking for that. I mean, it'd be it would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> it'd have been nice. Damn, cuz. That's not it, man. What a what a what a what a what a way to lose your virginity. Right, man, right. And then you get in school and you got all these beautiful young ladies around you all the time and like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Oh my God. I and remember 11, I had a girlfriend. 11, what, that's, that's I, elementary I, school, middle school. Yeah. Elementary, right? Yeah, just the end of elementary, going into middle. Yeah, that's like fifth grade. Yeah, yep. Yep. I, I, I figured it out. I figured out the formula. And I figured out I'm not the flyest motherfucker in the world. Nobody just, anybody just, walking around trying to find me to give me some you know what i'm saying i i figured that out but then i had this girlfriend in high school right and i was like oh my gosh she's the she's the flyest thing ever and i was like man but she's not giving me some i, I want i want some ass so i met this other chick that she was bad and she was on me right she was probably better than my girl at the time and she was on me but i didn't make no move we just hung out Right. My girl found out she beat this bitch up so bad. <laughs> she was in the hospital with shoe prints <laughs> on, on her chest, you know? God damn, she fucked up for real. Learned my lesson, bro. I was like, man, either either I'm gonna have to That's a real know, life, that's a real life fucking stopping. You said she went to the hospital and had the shoe yeah, prints on the chest. Chuck Prince, Chuck Taylor. <laughs> she had Chuck Prince on. <laughs> but that's when I learned. You know what I'm saying? Either you're gonna be with this woman and try to figure it out, or you're gonna be single and you do you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I, had, I had learned that in high school. You know what I mean, that's, that's when you learn to be faithful, huh? That's when I learned what faithful was. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's a million other lessons to learn outside of that. Right. Right. Like if I tell you I want some ass every single day of this week and it doesn't happen, we have a problem because. Now you don't give a shit what I want. I want to be faithful, but you know, you you agreed to this and now it's not happening. What am I supposed to do? You know, so I is fuck up your head as a young man, like, damn, I, I'm honest. I'm telling her the truth, but it still isn't happening. What do I how do I fix? It? You know, I'm like, there's there's a ton of things you have to learn as a young man, and being faithful has a it's got a lot of branches. Right. A lot of branches. When you commit, you have to commit selflessly yes sir hey listen we're gonna cut this one short we about to y'all stay tuned for part three we gotta we, we we definitely gotta do a part three right um well remember what i just said though when you commit you gotta commit selflessly yeah we coming back on we coming we coming back on that note yeah we coming back on that note 
All right, like I said, y'all, uh, we hit our goal. We hit the 200 subscribers. I'm giving away 200. Comment your cash app to enter the win. I'm going to put your names in the hat, and I'm going to pull four names and send four people $50. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. All the above. Uh, make sure you like. New new followers, everybody that's new that's watching, make sure you comment, subscribe to enter the win on these uh, giveaways. We just getting started on these giveaways. We got we got a lot more to come. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. Any last thing you want to say, Landon? Join us so we can have some fun. <laughs> yeah, we just getting started, man. Landon, we we gonna be doing this a lot. Pitch some questions too. Pitch us some questions. Yeah, pitch us some questions in the comments as well. Which your cash app? We answering and talking about anything y'all want us to discuss. Drop that in the comment as well with your cash apps. So we can get y'all this money, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Till next time.